Hey guys, what's up? It's Daniel with Trailer Mountain, and today I'm going to do a pack shakedown. Um, I'm heading to the Sespe Wilderness out in Ojai in a couple days. Um, actually, tomorrow. Um, and I have my pack already set up. I just kind of want to show you what I'm bringing. Uh, it's going to be a three-night backpacking trip. And I'm just going to show you what I'm bringing for those, uh, for those three nights. Start off with the pack. It's a pack I've been using now for the past, I don't know, few hundred miles and I really like it. It's the Gossamer Gear Kumo 36. Um, I did get it in the camo. I like the pack. It's a 36 liter uh, no frame pack, ultralight pack. And I'm just gonna, it's already packed and everything obviously, so I'm just gonna um, break it down piece by piece and show you what I'm bringing. So this pack is great for a number of reasons. Number one, it's ultralight. Number two, it's hydration compatible if you really want to bring a hydration bladder or something like that. I normally don't. I usually like to put, you know, water bottles on my shoulder straps, that kind of thing. Makes things a lot easier for me. Um, but if you like the, the bladder and the, the hose that you could drink from, you know, hike your own hike. That's, that's important, you know, whatever you're more comfortable with. Me, personally, I just like the bottles up front. Makes things a little easier, brings a little bit of weight up front, and kind of evens out the pack a little bit. So. That being said, we're just going to start with the outside pocket here. It does have a very large mesh stretchy pocket that goes down to the bottom of the pack. So, I mean, this whole thing is a pocket. Um, let's start with just a small fuel canister. I usually put this in my cook set, but for whatever reason, this particular trip, I just figured I would just throw it out here and make things or whatever. So, it sits out here. Next thing is more of like a, not essential, but I do shoot a lot of video and I do bring my GoPro and my cell phone with me, you know, for my camera, um, as well as my bigger camera too, because I really like taking pictures. So this is my electronics bag. It's just an Eagle Creek stuff sack, still nylon, it's pretty lightweight. And then here I have a battery bank. Just a I think this is this 10,000 milliamp. I have my cables for iPhone and my GoPro, and my uh, charge uh, my USB to micro USB charging cable for my headlamp. And I have a couple extra batteries and a battery charger for the GoPro. This setup right here will last me like just about two and a half to three days if I'm using my GoPro quite a bit. And that's my electronics bag. Headlamp. These are rechargeable Petzl, Petzl headlamp. Really like this one. Very comfortable. This is the Tika RXP. As I said, USB rechargeable and it has multiple options. It's, it's a little on the heavy side, but I like the comfort that I get with this as well as the versatility. Like I can, it has a red light, like a lot of, uh, a lot of headlamps do, but I like that it has a, a red light. I also like that it has a sensor built in that if I'm looking down, um, it'll, the, the light will get dim. And if I look up, like if I'm, or look straight ahead, like I'm looking towards the trail, uh, the light will get brighter. So there's a setting and it's all customizable. So for me, once again, this is a better headlamp than I, I prefer. I could get a lighter headlamp and save a little bit of maybe an ounce or two, but this one is really awesome and I like it. Next is gonna be my, this is my Diddy bag. I'll get a little closer just so you can see it. So, Gossamer gear, Cuban fiber. I did have to do a little repair on it because it did wear through, but I put some tenacious tape on the seams. But I'll go over the, the Diddy bag. This is a waterproof bag, number one, that's why I like it. And then inside, I just keep my, so this is pretty much like my first aid and my 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 ditty bag. So it has my toothbrush, toothpaste, has a little bit of tenacious tape. I got a a bunch of emergency matches in there. I'm just gonna take those out. So Yuko matches, some tenacious tape, little roll, toothbrush, toothpaste. I do have some, just in case I need to do any kind of repairs, I do have needle uh, and thread. I just put a, an eraser on it just to, so I don't stick anything. Um, as for ibuprofen and like a sleep aid, sometimes I have trouble sleeping at night. 
There's a couple other like uh, sanitary wipes in here and some band-aids. And then of course, a little pocket Swiss Army knife. So it has scissors and a knife. And that's pretty much all I bring for that sit setup. Uh, also too in here, and it's at the bottom, so I don't want to take this thing all apart, but at the very bottom of this, I also have a little tiny pencil sharpener. A little plastic pencil sharpener. It doesn't weigh anything. And I like it because I can use it to like really kind of sharpen some sticks and get some great kindling. Um, you can kind of see just a little bit of it right here. So there's a little tiny pencil sharpener in there, so I just kind of sh uh, shave a couple of sticks and get some really, really fine, almost like sawdust, and I can make a fire super easy. Um, survival matches are there just in case, you know, worst case scenario, but I usually have no trouble starting a fire. So that's my ditty bag. Try to keep it minimal and lightweight. All right, next thing. For an ounce, just in case it gets super buggy, I do bring a bug net. Uh, this is just for my head, and it does have an insect repellent uh, on it. So just in case, uh, just in case it gets super buggy, I can pop on the head the head net, and I don't have the mosquitoes, you know, buzzing around my face all day long. So for an ounce, it was worth it to bring to me. The very bottom is where I keep all my steaks. Um, been using a tarp lately, so I'm not even bringing a tent, so I do have titanium stakes. Uh, and these things do the job. I also have a couple of shepherd hook stakes. These are also titanium. And I've been using these for years, and they just have never let me down. They're just solid. So keep that usually at the bottom of that stretchy pocket, just because I don't want them poking through anything uh, in my pack. So that goes in the outside pocket there. Also in the outside pocket, I do have my Light My Fire titanium spork. Love this thing. I've had it for a while. Does the job. Doesn't weigh much. I really like that. I do also bring a little bit of paracord, you know, in case I have to hang a ridge line for my tarp or if I'm hanging food um, or setting up a clothesline. It's good to have a little bit of rope. And I always bring just a little trash bag. This is just a Walmart convenience store bag. Doesn't really weigh much, but I'll, on the way out, every time I hike, whenever I go somewhere, um, on the hike out, I usually try to find trash to pick up on the trail. So, you know, hashtag trash tag, get out there, keep the trails clean, do what I can, just do my part. So, also, pack out all your trash. So, bring a trash bag just in case, and you're good there. So, that's pretty much everything in the outside pocket here. Um, there's nothing else in that pocket. But it is a deep pocket, stretchy pocket too, which I really, really like. Um, something I did to the outside of the pack here, you may have already noticed. Um, I did put a patch on there. I do have a tendency to have a potty mouth from time to time, so I thought that was pretty fitting. Um, I do have this little keychain that I put on here. It's a compass slash thermometer. It's just from the Yosemite gift shop. And uh, it just kind of gives me an idea about how hot or how cold it is. And a compass. I mean, granted, yeah, I can look at the sun. I can figure out north, south, east, or west. No big deal. But it's always nice to have a little compass. How accurate it is, can't really tell you. But I'm sure for the most part, it's somewhat accurate. Um, on the outside here, um, I did go to OR a couple years back, out to retailer, and I, when I swung by the uh, Goal Zero booth, they had a bunch of these little tiny mini carabiners um, that don't weigh anything. So I usually just strap my sandals to these on the outside. And then I have a lightweight extra system to carry. I could have just hooked them right through the straps. Been the same thing. But I like the uh, the versatility of the carabiners just in case. The pack does have a nice um, flat zipper up top. Uh, I just have a shot cord kind of a thing for my water bottles or if I'm using an umbrella. I do bring one of these. I usually bring a couple of these. I do like these. They're ultra lightweight. Little shit kit. So these are great. Um, I've had these for a while and I really like them. They're super easy. It's from pottypacks.com. And uh, it's toilet paper, wet wipe, a disposable bag, and hand sanitizer all in one. And this thing weighs like half an ounce. It doesn't weigh much at all. So granted, yeah, I mean, I could just get, you know, a roll of toilet paper and throw it in my pack too. But these are super convenient. You do have a little bit of trash, but the trash doesn't weigh anything and you just hike it out. So 
shit kit. That's pretty much it for the top of the pack. So, moving on to the side. This is my luxury item that I bring. Everybody's got to have one, like, real luxury item. I've had this for a really long time, and I really like it. This is a Thermarest seat. So essentially, you kind of just put your Thermarest inside of it, and then you have a, it's kind of like a Crazy Creek, but you use your Thermarest for the cushion. So it does have stays on the side, so these are hard, just to keep the rigidity. Um, I have also used this on the inside of my pack to create a little bit of rigidity also. You know, you just put it in flat and then you have those uprights that kind of keep the pack, you know, more stable. So I have used this as a pack stabilizer as well. Sometimes I just put it on the outside of the pack like you've seen just now. Also in that very same pocket, Vargo Titanium Flask. And this is just for nighttime around the camp. Usually put whiskey in it or something like that. So Vargo Titanium Flask. There's that. Moving on to the front of the pack. Now on the back panel here is a sit, uh, sit pad. So this comes out, it's just mesh stretch. So this whole sit pad comes out and then I could use this to sit down on it. If I'm like taking a break, having lunch or whatever, I could sit down on that. I have a nice soft place to sit. Stretchy pocket up front, number one. This one I usually put my water bottle in. On this shoulder strap, I have my Peak Design um, clip for my camera. So my camera just slides right in here, boom, and I have access to my camera whenever I want. This is just a buff. So I usually put this around my neck or you know, if it's like super sunny out, I'll just wrap my head in it. And then I'll move that aside. Inside this shoulder strap, I have my, shoulder, uh, my Sawyer uh, Mini. Not the squeeze, the Sawyer Mini. And then, I always like to have like a bigger knife around camp. So I do have the, uh, the More Knife Eldris um, with the fire starter. So I usually keep that in there, keeps it all nice and neat. I don't have to worry about it, and if I ever need it, it's right there, ready to go if I ever do need it. Um, sometimes I could just put this on the outside of the pack and just run two water bottles. That's fine too. So that's the front of the pack. Moving on. This pack has two little clips for the straps on the outside. And then it has this little kind of a clip on the inside. I don't really know if I like this or not, but... It does keep things a little bit more secure and a little bit more streamlined, so I do kind of like it. I just don't think it's necessary for the added weight, so I might just cut this little clip right off. Um, but you could just tell, like, this pack has tons of room to really pack a bunch of stuff in here. Now, granted, it's an ultralight pack, so keep that in mind. Okay, food bag. Usually bring, like, a one-gallon Ziploc. This has, like, trail mix and some ramen, some sausage sticks, some... Uh, Granola bars, I got some salt and pepper and some soy sauce, tortillas, I got a Pop-Tart in here. There's also some jerky and some other stuff like that. So this is this is my food for the next three days, or three nights. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And uh, yeah, so that's my food bag. Try to keep that up top so I can get to it quite, quite easily. Usually keep this on top, because this is my shelter. My Hyperlite gear, Hyperlite mountain gear rather, um, eight by 10 flat tarp. So this is what I usually use. Um, if it's super buggy, I'll break out the bug net. Um, but this is my tarp. And it's an eight by 10 tarp. It's waterproof, it's ultra lightweight, and it just sits at the top of my pack. So when I get to camp, this is one of the first things that comes out. So keep that up top. This particular trip, I'm going to a place where there's gonna be plenty of places for me to go swimming. There's also a natural hot tub. So I do have a towel. Um, normally I wouldn't bring a towel, but um, I just got this recently and I really like it. I don't know if you've ever heard of this. It's called Pack Towel. And it does have a little, um, like a hanging loop right here. So I could hang this if I wanted to. Uh, but it just has a little stuff sack. And it's like a microfiber ultralight towel. I'll just open this up for you just so you can see size wise. It also has a little snap that you could also hang it for to dry quick, quick and easily. But essentially, this is it. 
so pretty decent size. And it's this like kind of microfiber kind of a towel. It's not quite like a chamois, but it uh, it does the job, and it, it just it doesn't weigh much at all. So I thought this was worth to bring. And then when you're done, you just kind of fold it all up, and then it just goes back in its little stuff sack here. Doesn't have to be perfect as long as it gets in there. It's good. That's the pack towel. Uh, next is my cook set. So this is a um, Nomad Life titanium cook set. And I really like this setup. I'll show you what's in it. So titanium lid, which also has a little stand up and a drain hole. So if I'm cooking pasta, um, I also got this um, when I was on the JMT, when I got to resupply, this little was this little guy was in the, uh, <clears throat> this, one, this was in one of the resupply buckets. And it has a scrubby cloth side, and it has a nice soft side on this side. So it doesn't weigh anything, it's really lightweight, and it's good to just kind of wash out your pot um, at the end of the day, or if you just need to, you know, use it as a, as a pot, you know, holder, if the pot's too hot. That's usually what I bring in my cook set. Um, next, but next little thing is a little Visine bottle full of Dr. Bronner's Castile soap. I don't bring much. I usually just kind of fill it about halfway. And then I have soap. I don't need much. A couple of drops will clean this whole setup. So um, it's also good for body wash. I usually rub it into my feet after a long, uh, long day's hike and use it kind of like massage oil, um, peppermint. I've used it to brush my teeth with, um, body wash, you know, wash my head. Um, I do bring a little lighter and a little little scrubby sponge that doesn't weigh anything. Inside this little guy is my stove. You may have seen my review on this. Come on. So this is my little stove. It's like, I think it doesn't weigh anything. It's like half an ounce and it's super tiny. Doesn't have an igniter on there so that's the reason for the lighter. But that's my stove. And then I have a, I could probably minimize these stuff sacks too, but I like that it, the stuff sacks reduce the uh, clanging little titanium cup slash mug. It does have a handle on it, which I like. And then the actual pot itself is this guy right here, 16 ounce titanium pot. It has the graduation stamped into it, Nomad Life. And this thing just does the job. Usually I just boil water if I'm going to be cooking anything. Um, but I have cooked pasta in here before. I've cooked full meals. And uh, I really like the, you know, to have a pot and a cup. Um, I just don't want to use my cup for my pot also. Because sometimes I'll just, you know, I just don't want to cross-contaminate it. Then, you know, ends up making, uh, it doesn't taste right. So, it's a little bit of creature comfort there. I just put that back in here. This little guy goes back in the middle. The reason why I put a stuff sack inside a stuff sack is just there's no clanging when you put a stuff sack inside a stuff sack. That being the case, so just kind of stuff all this back in here. Get my lid. And that's my that's my cook set. Doesn't weigh much either. So I'll be putting, you know, weights for all this stuff on the screen just so you guys can see, you know, like how much everything weighs. So the next thing is my clothing bag. Now this is a Hyperlite Mountain Gear stuff sack, waterproof, keeps my, my clothes dry. And I really enjoy this pack, uh, this little bag, because it's, uh, it's dual purpose. Man, that bird's super loud today. So it keeps my clothes dry, number one, but when you open this thing up and turn it inside out, it turns into a pillow. This whole backside here is like a black fleece. Um, so I just kind of put this and then I have a full-on pillow that's not an inflatable. Don't really care for the inflatable pillows too much just because you kind of get that like waterbed kind of a feeling to them. Um, some of them are great, some of them are not, but I prefer something a little bit more soft and plush than inflated. So hope that helps out, but that's my clothing bag. The next thing I do have in here is uh, just something I can just kind of stuff in. So in case I need a like a little puffy, I have a little just a pullover. This is a big Agnes pullover. I really like it. It's really lightweight. Keeps me warm. And uh, 
A lot of times I'll keep this more towards the top of the pack in case I'm like going over a ridge or something like that. And when I get up top, it gets like super windy and cold. I can just yank this sucker out real quick and put it on and have that extra layer for warmth. Um, but yeah, that's usually, I just bring something like that. Right, on the inside of the pack and down the back panel, I do have my Thermarest. This is an Uberlite Thermarest. So the Uberlite, I won't bring a stuff sack for, you know, usually it, it compresses down to like the size of a soda can. This thing is so small and lightweight. Usually what I'll do is I'll just keep it flat and I'll just put it down the back panel just to add a little bit of rigidity to the pack. So that's my sleeping pad, inflatable uh, Uber light from Thermarest. And also on the back panel I put my, this is my uh, ground cloth. So this is just a piece of uh, Tyvek that I cut up, I, I had found, and I put some uh, put some grommets on it just so I can kind of stake it off if I really want to. The grommets didn't add much weight and just adds a little bit more versatility to the to the ground sheet but that's my ground sheet. Last thing in my pack is the first thing to go in is my my uh, my quilt. Also Hyperlite Mountain Gear uh, stuff sack just keeps it dry. So this is my enlightened equipment uh, 20 degree quilt and uh, it's not going to be anywhere near 20 degrees, but I like that it's, uh, you know, the quilt is more of a, like a blanket. So for me, you know, if it does get a little chilly, and it is, you know, we are going to Ojai, so Ojai does get a little cold at night. Um, it'll probably be low 40s, so 20 degree quilt. I'll be totally toasty warm in this thing, and, you know, this thing can really compress down smaller if I really want it to. I mean, this thing... It's really, really small and it doesn't weigh much at all. This thing is light as a feather. So, um, But that's the last little thing that comes out of my pack. First thing to go in. Um, I like the, um, you may have seen the video uh, with Darwin and he does this like stacking system. And it's the same thing I do. It's just the smartest way to do it. And um, I've been doing it like that for a while. So um, if you've seen Darwin's video, I pack my, my pack pretty much the same way. So. Kudos to Darwin, he has a great channel and he has a lot of information. If you don't know about Darwin on the trail, definitely want to check this guy out. Um, tons of information uh, through Hiker, knows what he's talking about. So that's the last thing that goes uh, in my pack and the last, thing that, well, the last thing that goes out of my pack, comes out of my pack. First thing that goes in, so there you go. So as for clothing, um, don't leave home without this at all. This is my hat that I've had for probably 15 years. This thing is still holding strong, hasn't ripped. The only thing that's come off of it is the chin strap, which is fine because it does fit nice and snug around my forehead and uh, never flies off. So I've had this thing forever. Always comes with me, kind of lucky hat kind of thing. Um, hiking wise, I usually hike in a pair of like Under Armour like running shorts. These things don't weigh anything and they do have a little liner. so. I really want to, I don't have to wear underwear, but I usually do. I usually wear some kind of like a Terra Mar, kind of soft, uh, like kind of spandexy kind of uh, shorts under here. But sometimes I'll just wear these if I, you know, if it's super hot out, I'll just wear these. And I have a Mountain Hardware hiking shirt. I really like this shirt. Long sleeve, it does have button up. It also has uh, vents in the back and vents in the pit. Um, right here has little vents in the pit. It also has little side zippers on the chest pockets right here. These chest pockets have a little side zipper that also has a mesh on the inside so if I really want to open this thing up and let it breathe then yeah I can do that. What I hike in is these are Ultra Lone Peak 4.0's. really like these shoes. If you don't know anything about Ultra you should. Ultra is the only thing I hike in. Um, these days for long distance, never a blister, never any hot spots, it's like hiking on marshmallows all day. It's just these are just the way to go. So Ultra, Lone Peak 4.0s. I think the 4.5s are out now, so um, keep that in mind. But yeah, they're great. And then for my round camp, I have Bedrock Cairns. I've had these forever. Um, probably have close to 600 miles on these bad boys, and they're still holding strong. But yeah, I really, really like these, you know, Vibram soles, and these are what I use for around camp or stream crossings. Or, you know, if it's super hot out, like it has been and will be in Ojai, 
um, I may just hike in, in these and just put those, uh, the, the ultras, on my pack somewhere, strap them to my pack. But, I mean, I've hiked, you know, 15, 20 miles in these, you know, in a day and was totally fine. So that's what I bring. And that's it. Pack is empty. And there you go. So the Gossamer Gear 36 Kumo, um, just to kind of go back to the pack. I do like that Gossamer Gear is proprietary, not really proprietary, but they're known for having ultralight packs number one, but their shoulder straps are really wide. Um, this is my second pack from them. I also have the older Mariposa, which I love, um, still have, and still use. Um, but I do like the ultra-wide shoulder straps, and I like how padded they are. You know, they do have a great amount of padding to them. I'll get a little closer just so you can see. They have a great amount of padding to them. Very well built pack, but as I said, it's frameless, so you know, this thing has really no rigidity to it whatsoever. It's Gossamer Gear Kumo 36. That's everything that I have for my trip to Ojai, three nights in the backcountry. Yeah, so I'll put the total weight for everything you know over here, and you guys can kind of maybe give me a pack shakedown and see what you think. Um, if you have any suggestions, any ideas, any comments, please leave those down in my comment section down below, and I will get back to you as quickly as I can. Also, too, please like, share, and subscribe. really means a lot when people subscribe to my channel and like what I have to say about the gear that I'm testing. So, thanks again for tuning in. Really appreciate it. Please keep checking back for more gear reviews, outdoor-related hodgepodge, tech and camera reviews, gear talk, and giveaways. Take care, guys. Get outdoors. See you in the next video.